This will be an introduction video to the 3D printed Neo track fixture, which will soon be available for use on Freemo modules. We're sitting on the parking lot of the Tower 106 portion of the Dallas Union Terminal module set. These 3D fixtures are called NEO, an abbreviation for new and option, available for Fremo modules. These are 3D printed via Shapeways, and the material is a uh, laser sinistered nylon. They're very heat resistant, unlike plastic, which will be useful when we get into the installation portion and we're putting a considerable amount of heat uh, on our brass screw, which will be an anchor to the base of the rail. Purpose of this track fixture is essentially twofold. There were two main problems that I was seeing among Fremo. The first was uh, the ski ramp effect ends with the rail at the end of a module either abruptly uh, pointing up or down, revolting, resulting in very uneven track work between modules and the other was a wide variance in the two inch centers required for double track modules. A module mated or a module with uh, say two and a, a 16th inch track centers mated to a module with an inch and 15 16 centers, it formed a very abrupt W across the module joint. The Fremo standard does require that uh, the rail be set back one inch to facilitate the use of two inch bridge rails from module to module. These track fixtures are not Fremo compliant, but they are Fremo compatible. Each fixture has a trough in it that is designed to accept a rail joiner. This rail joiner can be used with fixture to fixture. If you wanted to use a loose rail butt joint method like the Northern California Fremo guys use, it can be used without a rail joiner in just a true butt joint, but it'll also accept both metal joiners and insulated joiners if a Neo equipped module was still going to be made into a traditional Fremo module. The only difference being that a one inch bridge rail would be used instead of a two inch bridge rail. These fixtures are now printed in white. Previously, previous versions were printed in black, which what Shapeways does is they print the core in white and then the last layer is the color that you specify. I used to, we could get these printed in black for an extra dollar a piece, but that price has now risen to $4 a piece. So I'm printing them in white and using very fine uh, hobby primer to give a base coat to it. The fixtures have on the, both the front side and on the rear alignment indexes. You can see those. So if you have your track centers penciled in on your module, whether you're going to be using the front for a line, or more than likely will be using the rear, which we will show in the installation video, but your alignment indexes are visible on the back of the module as well. Each fixture has a rail alignment sleeve. And you can see here on this microengineering, you can see these sleeves right here on both, both sides of the seat for the screw head. On the Atlas Concrete version, they actually have the, a very similar pattern to what Atlas cast into theirs to match the hardware and profile for the Atlas. You see a little bit of, if I can get the camera to cooperate, you can see some of the profile of the concrete ties. There's a little bit of stepping right through here. Uh, if you're a concrete user, uh, a little bit of, of sanding 
uh, or maybe even uh, final paint will cover that. The different track manufacturers are using different inside rail gauges on their track. Uh, the widest is the Atlas Concrete, which is almost at the maximum width allowed under NMRE standards. The next narrowest is Atlas. Their micro engineering is right in the middle and the Pico is the narrowest of all the tracks that are offered commercially. I do not have any information on Walter's Shinohara. If there's interest in those and we can develop those later. Since the goal is to use true butt joints, we need the inside rails to line up regardless of the track manufacturer. So to do that, we are going to move everybody to match the microengineering. And not because that's my preferred track, but because they're in the middle of the pack on the width. So microengineering is 0 0.66 inches from inside rail to inside rail. And the Atlas fixtures take their track and narrow it. And there's two ties worth. So the wider track can come in and be narrowed to the 0 0.66 and the Pico would be the opposite where it's widened slightly. This results in perfect alignment of the inside rails. All of the fixtures, the track or the uh, correction, the, the tie profiles are designed to match the OEM. So the Microengineering tire profile is a spot on match for their track. The Atlas Concrete, Atlas, and Pico all match the brand of track that you'll lay on top of it. Each fixture has two screw holes for the number two brass screw. The seat in the fixture is designed for this screw hat and for no other. So this screw will seat correctly in the fixture. And the top of the screw head is the anchor for the base of the rail to be soldered to. We've covered the trough, we've covered the tire profile, the alignment indexes, the alignment pins, and the microengineering and the Pico are really close on their track or their tie profile. So if you ever forget, what was it that I bought and then threw in my drawer, each fixture on the back of it has printed what track it's designed to work with. So here this is microengineering code 83. And if we can get the white to focus, which has been doing well, but there it is, you can see Atlas Concrete. So if you get it in the package, you put it somewhere and forget look on the back of your fixture and it'll tell you what you have. The next video set we will cover the installation where we're going to cover installing the micro engineering double track fixture onto the north end of the Dallas Union Terminal Complex.